Hi there, my name is Sage Nauman and today I'm announcing something that I've been really excited about for the past few weeks. Today I'm officially declaring my intention to run for the Carlsbad Unified School District Board of Trustees in 2014. January 15th marked the start of a career for former CHS student Sage Nauman. Even bigger than the shock of his decision, though, was his age. Of course my age is going to be one. I'm going to have to convince people that it's not going to matter, that it's just a number, and that even though you know, I am only 18 years old, I'll be 19 at the time of the election, that that's, you're going to have to put that aside because there are bigger, bigger matters at hand than just picking who's oldest. Fresh out of high school, Sage is certain he has an edge unique to his competitors. I think, I think there's a, quite a few things that separate me, but I think the main one, especially relevant to teachers and students, is that I will listen. I think you know, for the past year people have been going to the school board meetings and just shouting at these school board members and they won't listen. And I'm not going to be that kind of a school board member. I'm going to be someone who listens. I'm going to be someone who's going to sit down and talk with teachers, administrators, and even students. I'm going to get their input. Uh, when was the last time you saw one of our school board members at the school? It just doesn't happen. I will be there. I will be listening. That's what's going to set me apart. But the story he takes from his home life is what has truly influenced his decision. He has decided to play the game of politics for his brother. I have a brother who's in a wheelchair. He, he has cerebral palsy and he's going to Carlsbad High School right now. And my experience with him and, the, and different school districts um, has really opened my eyes that things need to be changed. Luckily for us in Carlsbad, we have probably the best special education system I've ever seen. Sage now hopes that with a new position of school board trustee, he can bridge the gap of miscommunication his brother has been forced to burden. Pretty simply, there are people that can't speak for themselves. And there are people who don't have the ability to go to a school board meeting and say, hey, I'm here, listen to me. And my brother's one of those people. And it's not just him. There are, there are plenty of other disabled kids. There are plenty of other people who just don't know. Um, Five-year-olds and six-year-olds at you know our elementary schools, they can't talk for themselves. They don't know what's going on. It, it's us that decides our future. And I think that that's really motivated me. They need a voice, and I don't think that voice is being broadcast, especially not on our school board. As he moves forward in his campaign, Sage will keep his brother dear to his heart and his desire for change close to his side. Brad Stryker, CHS-TV.